It is the 16th day of the month of October. Welcome to Everyday Life this morning. And today we will be speaking to Mr. Matthias Katamba. He is the Managing Director for Housing Finance Bank. And we are talking everything, uh, uh, properties, and also if you, he has been telling me that if you are willing to, you know, at one time or the other, have a house constructed for yourself, you will need to have, you know, cleared many things, including, you know, the costs of roads that will lead to that particular house, a septic tank, and many other things like that. But this year, the Housing Finance Bank is hosting the 33rd Annual Union for Housing Finance Conference. And this is a body of, six, of 61 members from 17 countries. Mr. Katamba, good morning to, to you, and welcome for being you know, welcome to NTV this morning. Good morning. So, let us start at the point of the conference. We want to understand what this conference is about. Okay, so over the last uh, three years, uh, Housing Finance has held an annual conference uh, to engage uh, the housing sector. Uh, this year, we are uh, hosting this conference with the African Union of Housing Finance. Yeah. That's a body of over 60 members in 17 African countries. So the reason why we do this is really uh, to try and mainstream housing, uh, put it at the same level uh, the way you see uh, education, uh, health, energy, uh, etc. I think the conversation on housing is so important because uh, the development of any community, housing is a critical component of that with population growth, uh, rural, rural urban migration, etc. So this is the reason why we host this conference and uh, I'll tell you a bit more the theme, etc. Um, during the course of the interview. Mm. So, what we want to understand also is, you know, how then does housing finance come up into the industry to make sure that people can, you know, get affordable homes? So, affordability is a question. Mm. Uh, effective demand uh, is another. So, what we try to do uh, through this conference is to create uh, the link between all players in the housing value chain. Because it's one thing to build a house, it's another to sell the house. It's one thing to want a house, it's another to afford the house. So it's important that the developers and, and the buyers are all in sync, uh, that uh, the developers recognize value in, in the quality and uh, size and affordability of a house that buyers are willing to buy, uh, given their various strata of income. So we sit in the midst of that because we have the data. You see, we have the people who come to us looking to buy, and we have the developers who come to us looking to sell. So trying to create uh, a link between that gap is a critical component. And what role is housing finance playing to ensure that uh, this year's theme, which I understand is engaging the housing value chain for growth, uh, has played to see that you meet the objectives? So what we've been doing over the years is engaging with developers. We don't build, but we engage the major developers, uh, build partnerships with them, uh, and try to, to scale the kind of housing uh, that they need to bring out to the market uh, that buyers will be able uh, to offtake. Uh, on the other hand, we then do joint uh, promotions and marketing for these properties, and then provide financing to the end buyers, uh, so that once the developer has constructed the houses, the houses don't sit on their balance sheet for a long time. Uh, we are able to provide financing for the buyers uh, to take off uh, the houses uh, from, from the developer. Okay. And issues, you know, of the economy because uh, today it is stable, the other day it will not be stable. How then do you ensure that, you know, both of you, it's a win-win situation for all of you, to the people that you want to support and to you as housing finance, you know, not to lose out in case, you know, people cannot make up to uh, their promise. I think all economies go through cycles, and economics does not uh, remain at a constant. So what we need to do and what we do is that, uh, you know, every year we try to, uh, to find what the environment uh, is like. Uh, we try to reach out uh, in terms of the nature of our products. We try to be flexible. Uh, currently, right, right now, you can, we have a product where you can, um, we can finance 100%. Uh, because to, for quite a number of buyers, uh, the 30% component that we require uh, can be a major constraint. So we've, we've come up with an innovation to be able to deal with that. So we can finance 100%. And also, with the developers with whom we've established partnerships, we have a certain guarantee on quality, etc. 
So that makes it easier for us to be able to provide a larger amount up front for the buyer. This provides a cushion uh, in those times when it's a bit harder. The other thing about it is the periods that we offer because you can borrow up to 20 years and that helps to spread out the amount. So the installment uh, is small enough, uh, in many cases to almost be smaller than what you'd pay in rent. Uh, yet what's happening for you as the owner of the house is that the equity in your property is growing. So you're building wealth and cushioning yourself uh, in a time of hardship. Why did you decide to take up this uh, or champion this cause? Look, you know, there is something called responsibility. Mm. Well, we're a business uh, and we're in the business to be profitable to make money. But at the same time, uh, what happens in the country is important to us and the development uh, of, the, uh, of the country and the development of the housing sector is a critical component for the development and growth of our own company. Because uh, uh, being uh, largely uh, a mortgage uh, financier, one of the things that happens is that the number of products on the market uh, matter to us in terms of the number of completed homes uh, that can be sold and people come to take a mortgage. That growing is important. For us to harness the benefit of the demographic dividend, uh, this number of the high birth rate and population growth and a large uh, youthful population transitioning uh, from being uh, from school to employment or to, to business, the only way you can harness that uh, as a company like ours is that if they can buy homes. Now if you look at what happens uh, from a development point of view of an individual, there is the point when they come from school and they're going to get married, they're going to start a family. The biggest investment decision they'll make will be that of a home. Mm -hmm. Now if those products are not there, they will skip that and maybe buy a car. Now everybody loses, the economy loses, the productivity lost out of what construction of one home would create mm -hmm. uh, in the wider spectrum of that value chain. The masons, the builders, the architects, the engineers, all that is lost. So by us championing this, uh, it's not only to our own benefit, but to the benefit of everybody as a whole. Okay. And at that point, I would like to understand if Ugandans really are engaging in this kind of, you know, uh, setting or, you know, have you seen many people trying to engage in that kind of partnership that you people have, you know, have introduced into the market? Are they willing? Yes, I think the uptake is good. But what we must do and the reason why we hold these conferences is to raise the conversation, to make people aware of the benefit of owning a home and owning a home in an organized way. Mm. You know, if you buy a home, uh, now there's condominium law. You can buy an apartment, you can, you can, you, you can build uh, and separate out the plots. It, there's a combination of things. You do not have uh, uh, to live in slums. And you can develop modern slums if you don't uh, follow urban planning. But one of the things that helps out a lot is the availability of finances, which we provide. And not only that, the availability of people working in a congruent way and working together as a value chain. And that's what we are trying uh, to emphasize. I, I know it is also important, you know, to, for you to tell us who would be eligible to come and, you know, enjoy these services. Well, first and foremost, to, to get financing from us as a bank, everybody's welcome. Mm. Everybody's welcome. Mm. Because we offer a multiplicity of services. Uh, right from normal transaction savings accounts, etc. The kind of things you need to do for you to build up. Uh, but also at the same time, we'll look at you and see what your need is. We'll have a conversation with you. We have a fully fledged uh, mortgage and business center at Kololo, for instance, where we have a whole set of advisors who will advise you from the size of your family, the size of the plot where you're looking for, the available properties, etc., and that sort of thing. How long you will take to pay, what you need, the level of income, and all that. Specifically in terms of the conference, the conference is by invitation only tomorrow, but uh, we have an exhibition running alongside the conference here at the Kampala Serena. So, so everybody is welcome, uh, essentially, to see what's happening uh, in the housing value chain. Okay. Yeah. Any uh, last remarks? Well, what I would like to do is really encourage Ugandans out there to embrace the idea of home ownership. Uh, I think that uh, of all the investments that you can make, yes, it's the single largest investment that any household will make, uh, but the benefits uh, you know, far outweigh any challenges that you may see in the short term. Uh, you get to build wealth in the growth and the valuation of your property, but at the same time, uh, you get to, to live uh, you know, a good life. Human development and quality of life depends a lot on where you live and how you live. Thank you very much, Mr. Matthias Katamba.
Managing Director of Housing Finance Bank here, and he's been telling us, you know, a lot to do with what they do, but what they also have to offer for you to have your own personal home, you know, and get away from uh, this whole talk of I can't have a home or probably one or two things are stopping me from owning my own home. Uh, Morning at NTV will take a really short break and we will be back shortly.